Craigslist used to be the wild, wild west, but Facebook kind of is now too. I mean, here's some people I'm getting. On the last computer I posted, let's look at some of these conversations. Um, one thing I don't like when people do to me is j when I post something and they want it, they just put a number, they shoot a number at me. They don't say, hey, I'm interested in this. Would you take 1500 So don't be that guy that just shoots a lowball price at you. I said, the lowest I could go is sixteen fifty. They didn't say thanks. They've seen it. They didn't say thanks. They just left it alone. Don't be that person. Always have a good back and forth conversation. If somebody says something to you, acknowledge them. Let them know they've been heard. Make them feel good. Um, and then Morgan goes, all right, is this still available? I go, yep. He goes, trades and some cash. Another thing I hate. And he goes, Kimber 1911. I'm like, what the heck is Kimber 1911? I'm like, sorry, I'm not even sure what that is. And then I looked it up and, oh yeah, it's a gun. I'm like, no thanks, I don't shoot. And he goes, 10-4. Uh, so these are the ones I'm getting. These are the, the kind I'm getting. Okay, this one here. Um, hey, is the last four digits of the serial number on the laptop 2660? And I'm thinking about it. I'm like, why does he want to know that? And I just said, because I... I'm not at home. I could check then because I didn't have time to really process in my mind what the heck he wanted. So I finally got home and I'm like, I hope there's not a picture of the serial number of this laptop posted somewhere because then they can register it in their name and, and register the warranty in their name if they have that, I believe. So I try not to post the serial numbers of like brand new laptops I buy or open box ones at Best Buy. Old ones, I don't care. Newer ones, I do care because you need that for warranty registration. So I actually checked all my pictures and I said, I'm like, I don't have any pictures of the serial number. I don't know why this person wants that. And so I asked him, I go, I actually took the picture of the serial number off. I don't want people trying to register it, smiley. Also, I spotted another error in my post. It's an RTX 2070 Max Q, not a 2080. So that was my bad. And he goes, I was just asking if the last four digits of the serial was 2660. Okay, at this point, I kind of figured it out that he probably got his computer stolen. He was trying to figure out if mine is a stolen one. And I go, no, why? Did you have it stolen or something? And he said, yeah, been looking on the Facebook marketplace. I go, that sucks. I'll keep my eye open. I got this one at Best Buy. The last digits of mine are 4860. But here's one on offer up. And I kind of like pushed him in another direction. <laughs> Hopefully, because I want to help him solve this crime, to be honest. And uh, I know mine's not stolen. So even though my conversation might seem shady to him where I said, Oh, I took the picture of the serial number off. He might think I'm the guy, but I'm not the guy. Okay. And there's one on offer up. He can go chase that guy down. So that's him. And then I got another one. Okay. This one's not too bad. Is this still a bit? Oh yeah, this is bad. Here's the, is this still available? Yes. Next thing he writes really expensive. Um, well then why the F are you posting to me, bro? So I say, yeah, I understand. It's not for everyone. And that's another thing, too, you can do to kind of make, to shut these people off and make it seem inclusive. Like you, this is a, ex or exclusive. This is an exclusive deal. It's only for certain people. Um, it's not for you if you think it's really expensive. So I said, it's not for everyone. And he goes, I know, but I want it. I'm like, that's great. I go, okay, I don't ship. Are you in Clearwater? Because it looks from his uh, Facebook profile, which is a great thing you could do. You could actually check out profiles of the, your, your buyers on Facebook before you, you know, deal with them to see if they're legit, look at their friends, see if they have a nice wholesome family. And he was in some other country, but he, so I said, I don't ship. Are you in Clearwater? And he goes, yours is great. I'm, will be a hacker soon. So I need that laptop. I'm in Tampa. And I go, ah, I understand. I have to get the money January. I said, if it's not sold by then, contact me when you have the money. Thanks. You think you could do fifteen hundred? Sorry, I can't. Please. Oh gosh, some people are so pathetic. I can't. I have to go. But thanks. Now here's a reason why I just didn't like kind of go off on the guy in Facebook Marketplace is because he can look at my profile too. He can see, oh, this guy has two cats. I'm going to go to his house and kill them or something crazy like that. So I'm nice to people on Facebook Marketplace. It, it's actually a good idea in general. But even when they push me to the limit, I want to say something nasty back. 
try to restrain yourself because they can track you down if they want to. Here's another one. Hi, I would like to offer you $1,000 cash. I'm buying it as a present. Thanks. I am selling this laptop for $1,700. And so uh, I didn't even bother. I just left the conversation. That's what I did on that one. And then we got, that's an amazing laptop. What kind of advice can you give me to blog our podcast? And I go, I'm just trying to sell this thing, man. So I've had bad luck with this one. So when I say I love Facebook Marketplace, I love it except for all these guys. It's usually pretty smooth. But I guess with a more expensive laptop, you have to deal with some ding-dongs. Anyway, uh, that's a little tangent video. I might actually title this tangent video. Uh, just some tips also on how to handle people on Facebook Marketplace. Don't be mean to anyone because it could come back and kick you in the butt. Um, you're, you're putting yourself out there in public eye, public view, and you don't want psychotics to um, come and do anything nasty to you. So always, and plus in just in business in general, it's always good to maintain friendly relations with your public. So that's what I'm trying to do.